DC TV Rwanda. Next question from Kenzi. Murakoza nyoko wa Prezo wa Republika. Nitwa Kenzi. Habandu mwenye makuru wa TV na Radio 1. Uh, ichiwazo cha nje. Chila karu kwa muri Kongo. Kuni kwe se turahanga ite ngaba nyarguanda. Umugaba mkuru unjiri jewi ngavu za Kongo. Generali Chiwewe. Apito Chiko. Yita angarije yuko. Amazi misa ze nguru kama hugu bia sadak. Kujira ngo inhambari yuru guanda wa itzindi. Kandi uumvi sana magamba mazi minsa afuga ya bari prezida nunguwa wifasha nga hari michino Yivu jie kujitiche yuko Ari wewe chivazo chumuteka na mura Afrika Wareva Ibjabandu wose wabajije Nghabona yuko tuifata nga hawa rugu china Ari kwa wenda wikabari na siri Ese tukabatu kuite kura yuko tuja kutergu wa na Kongo Kukubana vuzi kwa ashaka kutuwa aneksa Tukabini hara ya munani Mura kweze mga dosu za kuri yuyo mga duhu umuriza Changwa se mga dute guza tukite kura ne kamera kuwa huu mazani ni chini important ni chini changu amga ni chaji kuru ibijuga bjo na 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 humba na bishindi na humba na ya shabak so nushaka uliame usinzi re uichuye uionge re vijana vijana bari chivas Ibyo numwe yaba yaravuze muri Kongo ibyo afite uburenganzira bwo kuvuga ibyo ashaka kuvuga ntabwo bivugwa byose bibara ukuri cyane cyane iyo bivuga kuri iki kibazo cya Kongo bikivugwa n'abanye Kongo bo muri leta ariko icyonzi ni nuko Sadak ishobora gushaka gufasha ahubwo nayo mu kukemura ikibazo cya Kongo ntabwo nibwe rero ko ushaka gukemura ikibazo cya Kongo nubwo abenshi bashobora kugikiyemo bashaka kugikemura bakagikemura nabi cyangwa bakaba bakaba ibyo bakora biteza bizana intambwe guterwa mu gukemura ikibazo Hagoni bwira ko bizagana mu kugirira na abo Rwanda bafashije ko ntabwo mbibona mu kubona kwanje ntabwo mbibona eh ariko cyo nakubwira nuko nga bya bindi take iyo dashaka intambara urayitegura so na na yushaka maharo witeguri nambara leru go tuke dushaka maharo yoku itegura tuku itegui chera nshi batari abavu uchi muraka karere ka uje seragusa yewe muraka karere hawamona bastai tufiti bjama marebji nshi bituye muri aka karere umwe muri bo no muhanzi kazi witwa ingabire butera Jean aka Noles munyemerere nyako wacha yamane ntumire Noles nawe nk'umuntu waje atugani wacu bugesera atubwire uko abona ubugesera bwacu Noles karibu Paul Kagame, oye! Wapi. Mchinu, awanyabu jesera, duchize hochani, muri bjinshi, harimona majgo goro roze. Sibjo, nda jirangorero turushe wa hongahu. Na wanyamuji hano wa dufashe, na madrape atru. Paul Kagame, oye! Nous avons fait un peu de temps. 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 N
amazina yanjye nitwa Ingabire Butera Jean ariko abenshi bakaba banzi nka Butera Nodes ndu muririmbyi cyangwa se umuhanzi ni wo mwuga wanje yako bacamana kwa naho umuntu ahera naho asoreza avuga ibigwi byanyu avuga ibyo mwadukoreye nk'abanyarwanda n'abanyarwanda kazi biragoye ntaho wahera ntaho wasoreza ariko nge ndibuka nyuma yuko muhagarika genocide yakore wa batutsi mu gihumbi kimwe 1994 haba ku muryango wa papa nuwa mama nasigaranye nabantu batatu hanyuma ariko ntagiye cyaciye babiri nabo baragenda muri aba babiri hari harimo na mama wanje nsigarana n'umuntu umwe ano wa muntu umwe nawe yari mutoyi ubundi yari akenewe nawe kuba yabona umuntu umurera ariko afata inshingano zo kurera akana yarasigaranye ariko ngiye tuba mu kazi gato cyane ubuzima bubikibaza hanyuma akajya ashaka uburyo kitwabaho abona kazi kubwarimu aragenda ariko akabona ahantu kure cyane bikaje bituma ansiga mu gitondo nka saa 9 z'ijoro ndetse akagaruka bitinze nkasigara muri kakazo ako kazo twa twakitaga ikibahima kubera yuko nyine katurukiraga kuba hanze nkasigara muri kakazo rero nifita kadefu nagira gubwoba natinyaga ijoro nkavuga semana yange no bibintu bizashobokara hanyuma nza gushaka technique ndavuga rero ubu bwoba ntago bizashoboka ngiyewe ange guhangana niri joro na manwa nzajya ndara nsakuza mbyuke nsakuza ndirimbira hejuru kuburyo niba ari umugizi wa nabi niba ari umujura niba se wenda ari igisimba kuko narakana gato mvuga n'igisimba cyansanga mu nzuki kanandi cyangwa se umuntu waba yamenya makuru akavuga ati uyu mwana w'umukobwa ari mukazi uko wenyine nana muhohotera ibyo bintu byose nibyiteranya bikumva rwa rusaku biceho ubwe bitikano kazukararinzwe bintu narabikoze technique chamo nta kintu nabaye hanyuma urwo rugendo natangiye amashuri abanze primaire ndayiga irarangira ariko mu kurangira eh tugira ko bacyavuga se no no secondaire umuntu arabigenza gute ibintu byari ibibazo turi kubunza imitima tugira gute dusanga mwaducira inzira nyako bacha ya mana secondaire narayizira rangira nta giceri mutwishuri ibyo nabo byarangira aho ngaho na université nayo ndayigira rangira ariko hagate ubwo ngubwo niho natangiriye n'umwuga w'ubuhanzi nibiki nakantu kagenda kaboneka akanu na amafaranga nyako bacama eh noneho hanyuma nangira kuvuga rero ibintu biri gucamo akantu kari kuza fine ariko nakomeza n'amashuri nta kibazo nkomeza no mu kiciro cy'agatatu cy'akaminuzi cyangwa se masters cyagishuri cyagishuri ndibona ku ishuri ry'abanyamerika ari hano mu Rwanda ryitwa Oklahoma Christian University njayo bankubita ibiciro eh none ibyo biciro birahamba ibiri hejuru umuntu umwe arambwe navuga se ko mbona uri ahantu gutya amafaranga ubwo nta gutewe ubwoba eh ndavuga niko bimeze ambira ati rero kindi ushake kimwe cyakabiri cyo amafaranga kubera yuko andi yose asigaye gouvernement y'u Rwanda mubere uyu muyobozi nyako wa chairman barabirangije barayishwe umubyeyi hanyuma urugendo rurakomeza nyako wa chairman murumva nababwiye akantu karaboneka nari mfite inzozi nyinshi cyane mu nzozi nyinshi zaciyemo n'izitaracamo hari harimo no kubaka inzu kuko naravuga aka kazo nakuriyemo gato ya nkene inzu nini kuburyo cyumba nzajya mba naryamye mu atari cyo mbyukiramo urwego rwo kwisanzura hanyuma nangira gushaka rero ahantu nagira kigari nkabona akantu kakabanza gatoya ntago bishoka ahantu hose nkabona ntago mishibi ndakomeza nyako wacaman fatanyije n'umfasha wanje Clema turamanuka turenga kirya cyaro gahanga ehe tubona hari agasozi hejuru ahantu bita
Tu jera ahanu bita karumuna. Uga nu kongo kutu injiri uje sera nu kongo kani injiri. Abanu akarumuna walahari. Na uje sera muri rusange. Tu kwa jese muri ria musa zinja kwa chia mai. Tu reva kala kajer. Wa wa gaze ada amazi. Uhitwa na rudgueri rani. Bi nubjo kuba sana nyama rongo. Na jisho wa kuba na kaze tu fuga. Na hana na handi na hatu kwa shaka ga. Ni tu kwa zatu kwenye nini? Amakuru ni tu kwa hiyo na dusha kwa jinsi wa chuo, wa Tom Close, wa Platini, wa Debe. Abakti sio watandu kani. Ndeshe ni shuti zimi rijiangu kutoka ritu kwa rubani ni rijiangu. Tuzaza turubaka. Ali kumuri o process ni yako wachama. Bana wanya chigali na wana guava voroshi. Na abacha ane ba mwe muri bana kadi vose. Ba guchi nje ba ratani alivuka si. Diri ya shamba muzi yemo. Muziki, muzi yangu ni shamba kuyahu rama no neno. Wakati tu kwa tiriri, ni wamu la ba nubi jaza wanu akundi bitu chichire ama shamba, mtu kwa mize mujenda mu mashamba zaniungu. Tu ba vone, tu ba shime tu timga la kuzi, changu na niungu ni ba wana noya, ana mngambuke, mubya ibo kubya watu la niiri, tu ba mire ni nini kwa nua kunda mashamba. Umunure ro inshuti ya ukwejele, achiza wako kano na gubra kujira na chika. Ari kwenye kwa chairman, ichinu cha du kwa mje, tu kagua mamuru ujesera, ni vision yani, nuko tu kizera muri mwebi. Tu kwa rafu zetuti, tu kwa rafu zetuti, vision, mufiti yurguanda, tu rafu vision, mufiti yewe ndo ujesera. No tu kisha tu kiga, na tu kavuka kwa sisi tuji shukuri, umusa zaji zeku tia fata, ichivuga, aji kubise mu ujesera. Afashe. I mihand, nyakuwa chama, hano haraba, nuba chama muri ya mihanda, yake hanga ba zahani ujesera, waki photos wa kwa kwechangu baadhi mubudai, kandi baadhi mubujesera. Ukare vijana vijana sika vugati, nda guma hano vijana zewe kuzi, tura haguma, bijenda neza, tura tura, tura teka na, arikondo leo nyakuwa chama, kichinu ngadu koreye, kwa nua vijana tura vugango, ngakorozumuti, ngadu koreye umuti. Muburyo utaba ho, tuje kuwa na tuwa na muburyo utungura nye, mwevge, na madam, mutubere haba tuura nyo uje serano nye. Ibi inu, mga bichi zekuru ndiru kwa yako nyako wachea maani. Ibi inu, baba anu batu hama garaga, batu gira, mga jemu mashamba, mga jemu ichi bjose, wajewa kumfu kumfuwa, umu naragu hama gaye. Alo! Wanza tia kama zani yoka ba chumi na gata anu kuri gata anu alikuwa na yangu atura mujeshe ah ugeti ibuka yangu gamba yakuki kama kida onva zamu kama ni juru ya gasoji na hohari yebiba nza ni mituri re mujeshe rafgara na ndiye chali hata yako achiaman ingoko na vipuze na angira nukuri na gumuni yabo na ukuna kwa mizi chigani rovira goj. Rero, muraza, guchi shama sumra wa mnyabu jesera. Iki numuri wana chambere, iki kumwe cha abo chiri tayari ba meze gurcha. Ari kona wa mnyabu chiga inu kongu uko. Tuko yangu ni mnyabu jesera. Ndavu ya iki kumwe cha chuchu meze gute. Ni gurcha yako wachaman. Ita ri chia chumi na gata ni. Yara tu tindi ye. Sinzu mo noi chizero. Ni kure, ni kure bita wa kuburijo. Murugu ya gani nero kuba tayari? Tuatu mese kuri cha kubu guti na wame nia ushobora kubiri kupita pita onga au kama na kanuka kafom kari wiji fonsi pa ukabara teuri manuchi uraji yeye ukaje nduta na sese awanya budi sana mbele ziko koko kaje so kuchawa tana sese atawaru gamba waga kose arik nukongu koko turi tayari nyoka wachea man hari jihe uhura na wano. Yako wachea maneriji we uhura na wanu wakavuga ngo Iryo tera mbere, nirje chigari Handi ho, senari, hari nibichi Kandi wakuzi, gata wakiriko Mwana wakuzi kwa handi ho, sari homba Kandi wabazukuri 
bakabura icyo bavuga za nwenwe zabo bakazishyira hirya ukaba hukuri nyine ukikomereza rero ntago ntago twabona ukuntu tubashimiranya ku bacu ya mani twa twana twari duto twa muri twa tuzu tudupfubyi tudafite ikerekezo tudafite uwo tubwira tutazi ngo ejo bizacya bimeze gute mwara tureze turakura Tureze turakura tubamo abantu bakuru bazima ari bo batwebwe kirenze kuri cyo twarashibutse natwe twagize utundi twana twana twacu bu ngubu iyo iyo turi kuririmba ntabwo turirimbishwa n'agahinda turimbishwa n'ibyishimo ni bamwe mu banyarwanda bato bishimye nta stress bafite kubera yuko babona ikizere mu babyeyi babo mwarakoze cyane yako wa chairman iyo twebwe baraye joro nitwe tu turibara nitwe tuzi aho tuva naho tugana iyo dutekereje ku bintu byose mwadukoreye tukaba abantu nkabampagaza aha ngaha ndimo kuvuga gutya ntarigeze mbona yuko icyo kizere gishoboka twumva tubafitiye umwenda munini numwenda tutabona ikintu twishyura numwe ndu udashobora kuvamo gusa nk'abanyarwanda nk'urubyiruko nk'abajene ikintu twabizezanya ko bacha amani nuko turi bato batari gito turi bato batari gito kandi kindi twabizeza nuko aha na hari ho hose muzashingura ibirenge muzizere yuko twahateje intambwe niho intambwe zacu zishingiye muradufite kuri ubu nejo ni giye kizaza Gana ku musozo nyako wa chairman akana kantu kanje ariko ndabizi yuko na nyabugesera benshi tugahurijeho rwose pe gahunda ni irangira mwarubutse bintu bimeze neza twabibabwiye yuko twebwe turi tayari inkoko niyo ngoma ariko bintu bibigenda neza mwabonye mu mwanya mwarubutse muzagire gutya mudutungure nyako wa chairman mudutumire nk'abanya bugesera abaturanyi hariya mu rwuri rwanyu kabisa sebyo tuze tuze nyako wa chairman dutarame dutaramire ziriya nyambo twishime you know twinegure mu kinyarwanda nyiriyo habaye ibintu ngibi habaho no kwinegura tuze twinegure ubuzima bukomeze neza murakoze cyane hanyuma rero turi kumwe fpr oya murabizi mwese yuko fpr ari umuryango w'abanyarwanda wakira bose udaheza ndetse nibigwa ibyawo bibonwa na buri wese rero ndagira ngo mumfashe na mashi menshi cyane menshi cyane ariko menshi 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 twakire umubyeyi madame kabarisa uhagarariye ishyaka rya pel 
afite byinshi byinshi bikomeye yavuga ku muryango wacu amashyi menshi murakoze cyane Nani bajya kanu kingenzi Reka mbabwire mu ndirimbo nyinshi 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 dufite cyangwa afite ha ndirimbo ivuga ngo nabandi ntibazabashuke Tandukane no one Mukunda Mura Jemuri and Jacuka Vajirate Varamusha Kamitonde Varamusha Kamitonde Twajie Twajie to the Kume to the Kume to the Kume over Jagutangira, Mutuza Rikono Mosekoyaki. Sivjo, I own Hangira Ninja. Aba nubichi jihe, ni bazaba shuke mutandukane. Ura juri me, kwese, baram, witonde, mukomeze, ubi yame, ni bazaba shuke. Murakose, murakose. Hello. Nga mseleza nyakuwa wa Prezida wa Republika. Amazina ajeni Yusuf Mwari. Nga wanishi miyakuwa umusanji za wama gambo. Mbu ichi chiganiru. Nyakuwa wa mwrakoze kuwa mga aduha yunganya. Hoku tuganiriza kuri yumonti. Hoku kwa atera niye hakumurindi. Habere ya mwa mateka komeye ya RPA na RPF. Tuka batu kwa aje tururu bjiruko. Tukwe se chango seven shimuri tukwe evge. Dukoresha imbuga ngora nyambaga. Mwaka. Humuga, cyangwa se mu kwamamaza ibikorwa bijye bitandukanye dukora tukaba tunazi yuko social media bere ikibazo cy'ambere na kibaza nkoresheje ururimi rw'icyongereza 30 years ago you were exactly here um 36 years old um probably younger uh, than a few people in this audience, maybe not me, but a few people here, outnumbered significantly, uh, facing a reality that hundreds of thousands of people's lives, including some of your relatives, were at stake. Mr. President, take us back a little bit. We want to understand what was your state of mind in that specific moment uh, when you gave the order that started the campaign to fight against the genocide against the Tutsis. Thank you. Uh, first of all, um, let me thank you for this moment. Um, much as uh, going back in time, sometimes it's very difficult uh, at least on my part uh, I, 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 I wish I could forget uh, completely some of those things or days and but anyway that that is life so what you've just said is very true uh, we're here we have uh, now uh, recollected of the picture of uh, literally have a map of this place uh, fixed somewhere in my mind it can't go away 
um, more so what can't go away is uh, what was happening in our country and uh, what uh, was facing us and we had to deal with. Um, you know, um, I speak from my understanding. Um, when you are faced with a situation like that was at the time, there are a few things that come to your mind. And there are a few choices. Either uh, you face what it is, however difficult it is, and uh, invest everything in you to deal with that. Or you break down and run away. There is really nothing in between. Either you do something and uh, or, or don't do it and the consequences either way are very obvious. But at that time, at that time, sometimes it is not obvious. You, you only come to think about it later. So, from the beginning when the struggle started, uh, we understood the magnitude, the weight uh, we have to carry uh, in doing what we are trying to do and achieving what we had in mind. We never underestimated. Uh, but it, can, it turned out to be even much bigger, much more complicated than anyone could have thought. But still, we were there, so you had to deal with it the way it happened. So what was, in, what was it that was in the mind? Um, you don't want to go too far ahead of yourself, because if you do that, you probably will make a mistake because you are either you are thinking about the defeat or thinking about the victory, which has not happened. And if you thought of one, if you are sure you are going to succeed, it may end up actually being a failure. Or if you think you have already failed, uh, that means you're not going to try as much as you could have and uh, you, you, you may actually end up with a failure uh, when it could have been different, when you could have succeeded if you tried everything you could. So here, this is the place um, where so many things happen. First of all, taking this place and uh, occupying it and turning it into headquarters for uh, the RPF and the RPA combined uh, must have happened in 1992, I think, around April maybe, if I remember, what was that? Because the RPA was involved in the fighting along the border and we hadn't taken much of the territory inside Rwanda. We were really surviving along the border between uh, Rwanda and Uganda. Uh, where some of us had come from, and um, so the 
the RPF, meaning the chairman, the commissioners, were not part of the fighting force. We are staying in different parts. In fact, we had headquarters in in Brussels, Belgium. But we also had another in Kampala, Uganda. That's where it all started. Um, and then sub headquarters in different parts of the world. So when we took this place, we were able to bring the two closer together or really together, the RPA and the RPF, and um, this became our headquarters after uh, uh, taking those, you know, a little bit of history. When um, the war started uh, in 1990, I was um, that before that, I was serving in the Ugandan army and so on and so forth. Most of us were, or a number of us. And um, uh, when the war started, I was not uh, anywhere near here. I was uh, attending a military course in Kansas, Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, uh, Command and General Staff College. Yeah, but I had now to work my way back uh, to, to be here with the rest. So when I came, I found uh, uh, chaos. Uh, because the leader, the first leader of uh, our struggle had been killed on the second day of the attack. Uh, Fred Rugema, and um, so you understandably, it was already a difficult situation. Then you, the organization loses a leader, and uh, uh, what follows is, is easy to understand. Uh, so when I came back uh, in the first two weeks of October. I arrived back from the US and uh, came and joined the others and tried to reorganize and so that's when we organized and started fighting in a more organized manner because of that case I am talking about that happened uh, when we lost the uh, uh, the leader who had uh, led the struggle. Um, so that's, that's um, I'm trying to cut things short, so that it is not a too long story, but uh, so that's all the way from then that chaos came, 90 past, 91, and then 92, we found ourselves here, and what I was just narrating happened. Uh, and it happened after we had taken places around here. In fact, that's a, that was specifically after attacking Biumba, the Chumbi now. We are going to have a meeting. Mm -hmm. we, there were uh, government forces of that time, and there were also forces deployed here different paths, so we, we planned and moved from the east because we are more towards the Nyagatare and uh, in between we are trying to survive. Um, so we organized and uh, attacked a number of uh, government enemy positions uh, around, including the one here which happened uh, last after actually taking Biumba then, the Chumbi and different other parts. Uh, we did by bypassing their positions and actually attacked them from the back. We, we went through the 
enemy deployments cut through and the, those who are here didn't know we had attacked Tibiumba uh, then and uh, with the others in a place called Rukomo and uh, other places Bungwe and I don't know whether they still bear those names, I haven't followed over it, but uh, mm -hmm. so then we took this place because our positions were now far ahead, so this was more or less protected and um, that's why we turned it. We had the headquarters, it was making it easy for us because from here to the border I think is about 30 kilometers maybe something like that. So we would operate, going forward and spread wherever we needed to. But at the same time we had access to the border with Uganda and that's how most of the time we used to get food and medical supplies and other things we needed. So it was easy, this position was easy to connect us with the world but to connect us with the, the uh, country and uh, enabled us to carry out the operations we had to carry out. So we grew from here quite fast. And um, yeah, so that, that is um, um, a number of things. It was coordinating from the east, but also the is that north now is when we were in Ibirunga. So it was like this. So we are here and used to coordinate. Um, so, what was in my mind when it came to the time? You know, there came a time there were peace negotiations and in Arusha and then it failed. And I remember in 1993, yeah, was it 93, February 8th, I think, uh, the Arusha peace negotiations failed and because the government had started killing people in Chibirira, or started killing Babogwe in those areas and we told them we can't be here talking peace and then they kill people again so that means we are going to fight again and so the, the, the negotiations failed in 92 we stopped because of that and they resumed the fighting in fact that's when we took now a lot a big a much bigger territory than we even had when we resumed the fighting uh, later on uh, we, we spread and uh, yeah so from 92 no 93 february we had had because of ceasefire and in peace negotiations we got an opportunity and trained the uh, 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 fighters and uh, they were ready for the next task meaning when the ceasefire broke then we resumed fighting we took uh, you heard of there used to be a demilitarized zone that you talked about, you have heard about when we fought took a territory then there was a global outcry and everybody was descending on us and they thought we were going to take Kigali actually but I don't think much as we could easily have militarily from the operational point of view would have easily taken Kigali, but I thought politically it would be a big mistake in, and that's why I prevailed over. There was the urgency for people to, to say well, let's finish the job, but I, but I thought it wasn't going to, the job wasn't to get finished because 
in a way we will, will be overstretched and we are taking on something much bigger than we can handle organizing the country but still the forces were they were being defeated here but as the government was still established you know they are still had forces I think we would have faced bigger problems than uh, people thought so but when you were being told we must go back so that peace talks continue resume and continue um, in the end we put a demand which will not uh, 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 relinquish we demanded that for the areas we have taken a big part of the country as a result of, the, of breaking the ceasefire by government and so on and so forth we cannot return this this area or these positions to the government. <laughs> they've lost that, and they've lost it because of their own big mistake. So we compromise to make things simple for everybody. We, we, we actually gave in to some demands, but created a formula that would allow us to take it. We said, if we leave this place, it should be demilitarized, and maybe UN or there was also at the time some African Union observers who were here and, um, said they should monitor this area, the government should stay where we pushed it to and for us we have no problem going back to our positions and this area in between remains a, a demilitarized zone. But we had already registered a huge victory. Uh, we, we are able to connect with the people in the country to a great extent. We um, it put pressure on the government because they really got a very bad beating, and and they were now open to more serious discussion. Uh, and that's what. So uh, everything was being coordinated uh, now from here, from Murindi. So when it came the genocide, uh, even before that, we 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 used to monitor everything happening. We used to monitor militias being trained in. The, there are hundreds of thousands in every district, as we have them now. Um, and the plans, the plans would leak, we had the people who would tell us, and we used to share it with the, the UN, the forces that were present here in the country, and, and we found actually they knew a lot about what the preparations were, um, by whom, where, and for what intention. They, they knew. When you hear people talk about genocide and as if it was something that just happened or happened because of uh, Habyari Mana's death or this and that, it's all rubbish. They, 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 this happened way before. Uh, in fact, uh, Darel, General Darel, the commander of the UN forces, used to come here many times. He would come by helicopter or by road many times. He would. There are so many visitors who used to come here, even from outside of Rwanda. And, uh, and we used to share this information, we used to discuss it. We would, give them information you have, give them evidence, give them, and sometimes they would f we would find they already know the... Uh, so, yeah, uh, there's a particular question you raised, what the feeling was when things were happening, including when genocide started, you know, 
it is hard to go back and tell people what you are thinking. Honestly, I don't even remember some of the things I was thinking. <laughs> things were happening so fast, so uh, and it was so stressful. And um, I spent more time and energy trying to stabilize myself so that I don't collapse under the weight of uh, everything. But uh, focused on saying, first, if it is fighting, we must fight to win. If it is even politics, we must do the right thing politically, still make progress. And, um, and then when the genocide started, the immediate thing was to see fight the people who are killing, second, try and save as many people as we could, if it were possible, but same time collapsing the government that uh, was responsible for that. While we had many people, there is not a person even here, I'm sure among you, there is not a person here who doesn't have uh, a number of people who were killed, that were known to them, were relatives, were parents, were children, were things like that. Uh, and, and, and by the way, it is, because I've asked many times, you see, in, in a situation like ours, genocide is happening, there are perpetrators, there are victims. But overall, there is nobody who is not dying on either side. You are killing people they are in a genocide. You are therefore going for those you are targeting. And, but at the same time, those who are doing the killing of other people were also facing death from, because we had to fight them. Uh, so in the end, nobody, there is not a single person of the millions here in Rwanda who would say they gained from this. Everybody lost. Even those who started it and started killing people, they wanted to achieve something, but they didn't achieve it. Because what they intended to achieve was uh, not just killing a few, they wanted to exterminate people. A certain group of people, they, they thought they deserved that, or they wanted to, to kill. So it didn't happen, because not everybody died. Uh, there is always a going to be people who will, will remain alive. And so I think that's uh, what else you want me to tell you. <laughs> yep. Thank you, you very ask, much. Ask me anything. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Your Excellency, uh, for the context. Um, yes, I'm sure there's a lot of questions uh, from the crowd. Uh, so I'll open it up to the floor. Uh, please raise your hand if you have a question. And uh, before you ask your question, Introduce yourself, uh, tell us a little bit of who you are, and then uh, address your question. Try to be as concise as possible. Skovia? Murakoze nyako wa Perezida wa Republika, ni itukwa Skovia Mutesi, dungwa niti wichi nyamakuru mama ugo wa Gasabo. I see you every day on the media, social media. <laughs> on the social media, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Murakoze, uh, ikibazo cyanjye nashakaga kubaza uh, usobanuye byinshi bigaragara inzira yari ikomeye ariko nagize ikibazo nifuza kubaza ese uh, musobanura mute impamvu mwari mufite ikomeye yumvaga ko mushobora gutsinda ubutegetsi bwa Habyarimana bwa ari bufite ingabo zikomeye ndetse uh, bashyigikiwe n'amahanga mu byukuri yumvikanaga nkakomeye uh, nyuma yaho uyu mukanya tugeza ha general Kabarebe yadusobanuriye uko mwageraga mu mutari uko mwasanze bimeze ko byasaga nk'ibiteye ubwoba impamvu ikomeye mwagize mukumva ko muri gutsinda uru rugamba kugeza uyu munsi nyuma y'imyaka 30 Mitchell, Washington. 
ndakubwiza ukuri nta nta ntabwo ari science ngo muri science nararebaga nkasanga turi gutsinde cyangwa ntabwo ari it's not anything ntabwo nta kintu cyari gihari cya twemezaga ko turi gutsinde kirenze umutima wacu kuvuga ngo natsinda ntatsinda ngomba kurwanira ukuri kwanje nicyo nicyo umuntu yashingiye ibisigaye bikubakira aho ngaho ntabwo rero nta wari ufite ikizere ngo ibintu bigomba kugenda bityo kuko na bimwe uko abantu babitekerezaga cyangwa babyifuzaga bigomba kugenda siko byagenze kuri bimwe hirya no hino ariko byo ibyo mvuga yo kuvuga ngo twari ahantu uvuga kuti ehm bya natangireho ngira ngo nane yuze icyongereza mvuga mu kinyarwanda aho uvuga kuti ariko aho ndi ibindi imbere ngomba guhangana nabyo um mfite uburyo bungana iki kugira ngo nkore kimwe cyangwa nkore ikindi ariko akaba ufite ibintu bibiri gusa kuvuga ngo eyira ndabihunga inigendere nkeza amagara yanje kuko harababikoze barahunga bari igendere babivamo no barakiruka nti baragaruka ibyo babikora ikindi ni kuvuga ngo aya ntabwo ndi ubugenze ibyo narwaniraga nubundi ni ukuri ni ukuri kwanje ngomba kubikomeza ni nabizera mbizire eh wo ni bintu bibiri rero yezo rahunga cyangwa rasigara uhangane n'ikibazo ibi byo guhangana n'ikibazo byari muri bantu benshi n'icyo kiza cyabyo byari mu banyarwanda benshi ntabwo bari bake abahunze ngira ngo nibo bake kurusha basigaye bahangane n'ibibazo muri uko guhangana rero n'ibibazo nyine ugomba gukoresha rero ubwenge noneho ukoresha ubwenge ese uhangana n'ibibazo ute guhita mu nzira ruhangana nabyo nayo noneho niho hazira gukoresha umutima no bwenge bikaguha icyo gukora bitewe n'icyo ufite n'icyo uzi ku mwanzi no buryo bwo ku koresha kugira ngo utsinda ari urugamba rumwe hano cyangwa handi cyangwa utsinda urugamba runini rwo kurangiza icyozo cyose ikindi kize nta nta kintu cyari gihari cyahumuntu wari wese yewe nabatsinzwe banza batari bazi ko bazatsindwa babaga bazi ko ni leta bafite ibyangombwa byose bumvaga baraho twegwe bitaga inyenzi bazatunyura hejuru gusaba kagenda natwe kubera aho aho twavaga nuko twari tumeze ne no gushobozi abutari buhagije twari dufite usibye uwo mutima wo gukora ibyushaka gukora ora bikoraga ariko ntabwo nta guarantee nta kintu cyakwemezaga ngo ibyo urwani ruzabigeraho ariko bagomba kurwani nene we uko nicyo wahisemo kandi niyo nzere yari imbere ya warebaga wakoresha gusa so na na za jirukubeshya ngo ibyo twite nsinzi ngo barayirebaga aya barayirwaniye bayigeraho ariko kuba orayirebagiza ibyo bizavuga n'utaruhari ukuzi cyane 
Yes, dufite ikindi kibazo. Um at first I had a microphone for Eric. Yes, is Ukoko. Kare. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. My name is Eric. Uh, we just had a great visit of the site uh, that was your military base, and uh, it was a great visit. And then I went on to revisit one of the oldest video, but the famous one, uh, where you were addressing your force, I think, back in 1990. You taught them in Swahili, how we called. Jeshihili litakuwa msingi wa mabadiliko and then he went on to tell them uh, sasa ndiyo mana matendo yetu yanapaswa kuwa tofauti na yale ya wale tunapigana nao uh, for me uh, these were super great values of RPA so my question is uh, how could you envision unity and integrity uh, knowing you were not even allowed in your country, even coming to visit your friends and family, uh, you could ski, uh, sneak in. Um, and then uh, we also had that, uh, uh, not here, I think I need to uh, fact check this, that uh, some of the Habyarimana forces that were wounded during war, some of them were treated here. And then uh, where did these values come from and how uh, do they remain the foundational values of RPF today? Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, societies uh, anywhere or people, whatever, um, have values, uh, certain beliefs, what they think is the right thing to, to believe in. Uh, and then, um, so Rwandans have values, there's no question about it. Uh, in, in fact, uh, that, that uh, to an extent explains the, the problem the world has. Uh, in the world, there are some people in some parts of the world who think they are the only ones who have values and their values must be conformed to by others <laughs> which uh, I personally feel insulted by and could not accept, can't accept it. It is not true. There, there are no people with better values than others. And, and better, how do you measure that? Better in what sense? So, with the Rwandan values, and, and even with the effort to try and integrate the values, your own values, with other people's values, so that um, it is broadened, you, or you look at it uh, in a global context the way it should be. Um, the governance of the country, the politics of the country, ordinarily should reflect the values of that society. So for a long time, in Rwanda, we had our own values even before, then colonialism, okay, we can talk about that briefly, brought their own values, then gave uh, or distorted the values of, of Rwandans, and, and unfortunately Rwandans came to accept the distorted values as their own. What do I mean here? Having a country that is divided on an ethnic basis isn't part of the values we should be, uh, we should espouse, uh, we shouldn't. But that's what happened. So the RPF, the origin of it, 
much as it is problems that had happened to some Rwandans, not only those living in the country, but especially those outside as refugees. Um, for things to go back to the right order, the, the politics must be bringing back the unity of the country so that we are no longer ethnic groups, but rather the integration of that into or by national unity. Uh, so that, that's, that's really how RPF was born. It's the foundation of RPF. So what I was saying to the fighters at that time is clearly in narrating to them the story of who we are, mm -hmm. or rather reminding them, <laughs> because I think everyone knew, but people don't always do things based on what they know they should be doing. So I was just reminding them, or I was telling them, that uh, this struggle has a meaning. It's not just fighting and you kill, they kill, and, <laughs> and you take over. You, you, even if you take over an authority or you are into government, you are there, you should be there for a purpose. It's not uh, just taking over, <laughs> it's there for a purpose. Uh, so that's what I was, and, and I knew that, of course, even as now it still is, even the RDF that uh, transitioned from the RPA uh, into the current uh, defense force we have, um, is the center, is or. The center of gravity, here yeah, of what we are uh, doing in the country, or the country, what it is, what it is, security, stability, social economic development, and so on and so forth. That message, uh, and which they all understood, uh, still plays part in what we are doing today, or who we are today, or what we want to be in the future. Yes, that, that differentiation between uh, those who were fighting that later on committed genocide, or some of them had done so, actually, in the many other, you remember this, genocides of uh, 60s, of uh, 70s. Uh, uh, so, you know, I was saying, we, we, we are there, we are fighting for a cause that will change all that and create Rwanda to be what it should be. Uh, so, that is even the, the message today, even tomorrow. <laughs> well, if we, we can fail to, to achieve it, but it remains, the, it stays the message. <laughs> it is what should be driving us, uh, uh, even politics we are doing, even the elections we are preparing for tomorrow and the campaign is here running up and down. I'm not running up and down for nothing. <laughs> I'm running up and down for that message. <laughs> I had to represent it and put it where it belongs and give it the results it should have. Mm. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, more questions? Um, Joel? Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. President, Paul Kagame. Um, so my question goes, my name, first of all, my name is Tukule Joel. I'm a content creator and a proud first-time voter. Mm. My question is, um, your name so is... So when you were here, you probably were not yet born. Yes. 
and I'm glad to be voting for the first time. All right. Um, so my question is, your name is one that is known for intentional leadership, but today we'd like to know how do you take care of Paul Kagame beyond the official roles that you play? So uh, let me get to your question again. <laughs> Yes, your name is one that is known for intentional leadership. Yeah. How do you take care of Paul Kagame beyond the official roles that you play? Okay. Uh, let me tell you just of, I mean, uh, this place where we are actually, let me tell you something. I don't know it is necessary. When I was, uh, at the Command and General Staff College in the U.S. I went to... It, it is going to turn out to be a long story, maybe, but... You know how I went there, also? First, uh, it was not me supposed to be going for that course. I was supposed to be going for a course somewhere else. The one supposed, who was supposed to be going to the U.S. was Fred Ruijema to attend that course. Even when I arrived at the course, I had to change the, 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 the documents. Everything was recorded in uh, Fred Ruijema's name. So we had to change all that into my names. But what happened, maybe I'm sure many of you don't know, when we had started, when we started organizing in Uganda to actually do what we, the Ugandans got to know about it, we were doing it discreetly uh, and even encouraging Rwandans to join the army and inviting some from different other parts of the world to come and join and be with us. And because that time it was easy to join the army in Uganda, they were looking. They were so. We had many groups fighting, so we filled the space. Uh, and some of us had had the opportunity of being part of the struggle from the beginning. To, and we are so organizing and bringing people in. Um, so the Ugandan system wanted to disorganize us so that we don't remain uh, planning and doing what we wanted to do. So they, they wanted to send the top three of us, no, four, scatter us outside the Uganda to go and attend courses while we, in the meantime, we get disorganized. So Fred Ruijema was supposed to go to the U.S. Uh, I was supposed to go to Nigeria. Um, Bunyenyezi, you have heard of Bunyenyezi. Chris Bunyenyezi was supposed to be sent to some other place. Bayingana was supposed to be sent to Russia. So when we got up to know about it, I talked with Fred, and I told him, I'm the one who insisted and encouraged him not to actually go anywhere, because that will just mess all of us up. He was our leader, then he said, if you go, that means uh, postponing it for another five years or, or something. Yeah. <clears throat> so he, we, we agreed he's actually going to decline and we tried to create a story of he would tell the authorities so that they would understand he's, he's not just objecting to going. And So he went back to the authorities, told them, and of course it was a, a bit of trouble. It was not well received. So I think the one who was told that he's not going and so on and so forth, must have connected and said, you see these people are up to something. Then they said, okay, since you 
you are rejecting it, then Kagame must go. <laughs> so it, it was going to be either him or me, <laughs> so that still they maintain that thing they wanted to. Uh, I'm sure they are warning you for time, but uh, <laughs> let, let me say we are in charge of time here, don't, don't worry. So he declined, and they stayed, they sent me, as if to say, okay, if you are going to go, then this one will go, because they never wanted us together. Uh, they thought if they got rid of one, they would just create problems for the other. So then they called me up and said, so you, you, you Fred was going, da, 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 now he has problems, he's not going, so you, you should be the one to go. He said, I have no problem. So I went back and told Fred, I said, you see, they are now they think they have known our plans. So if I decline, they may actually put us in jail, both of us. So to survive this and continue our plans, you stay and do what we have been trying to do. And for me, I will go. But when things start, I will anyway find my way back easily. I don't need any permission from anybody. So that's what happened. Uh, when I went for a course, blah, 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 short, long story short. So later on, my wife, we had just been married. She's here. <coughs> we, we, they must have thrown me out of the honeymoon and, <laughs> and just <laughs> And, and said to her, of course, so, and, and, but she found me there a few months later, but, uh, and, and that time, I, I'm trying to arrive at a quick thing here, uh, and trying to separate the two Kagamis and program three or four, I don't know. But uh, when she found me there, she was already pregnant, with the first son, uh, Ivan. And when we, so uh, the point I'm arriving at in 93, no, no, actually in 94, just before genocide, he was three years old. He, he, he was sent to me, I stayed with him in this house uh, somewhere. Is it up here? Yes, it's up here. I stayed with the, him uh, for a few, maybe a week or less. In fact, when um, yeah, 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 when uh, the other man uh, crashed in the plane, he was here with me. The boy was here with me. And we were, uh, we, the news came, we were watching football. Where? In one of these houses. Well, yes. There was uh, an Africa, Africa Cup tournament. I remember it was Senegal playing Cameroon, I think, when we were watching here. And uh, somebody came with with a message to me that uh, Javier Mana's plane had crashed and uh, there is chaos in the Kigali and so on and so forth. So, what follows a different issue. But he was here with me. Uh, now, you can see he was here with me, not as a soldier, not as anything, but <laughs> just as a part of the family. So I was trying to reduce the amount of stress I had uh, accumulated <laughs> by having uh, my son around. Something else funny that happened when 
Of course, as I said, he was here when the chaos started. In fact, I left him here and went uh, with the forces that were going to Miove. That was Miove. And uh, so I sent a message back. I told the people who had said, I said they should quickly take this kid back across the border and take her, him back to his mother. Uh, you want to believe it? He refused. <laughs> he refused, he cried, he, he said, no, you must see me first. He was like, where is my father? Where is he? he refused uh, that day and the next day were very busy out there. So I had to drive and walk back that like, like on the second day to come and convince him to go. Yeah, so I, I told the, the commanders I was with where the forces were that they give me just a few moments. I first go and solve a personal problem. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to come back. Actually, that time it was very dangerous because there were some, still some forces uh, in between and we had... At night I tried to drive. Uh, I had a Land Rover, I tried to drive, but we were using indicators. You couldn't put on lights because we easily have... Uh, so some places we would walk, others I would drive. Then I came back, arrived here around uh, 4.30 in the morning and uh, stayed up until he, he was sleeping until he, he woke up <laughs> and uh, so I told him you know da, 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 your mother wants you you, know, you have to go it seems he was happy where he was saying he wasn't <laughs> so I had to convince him I literally forced him gave them somebody uh, who took her, him to the border uh, and then I went back uh, immediately. I didn't even arrest him. I had to go back and in the forces. So, I'm just trying to bring in the, the, the official me and the personal me. <laughs> I, I thought maybe there wouldn't be a better place uh, or thing to explain it than that story. So we had to keep one part is family, another part is work, and another part I don't know what it is. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. President. With your permission, we'll take two last questions. Okay. Yes. Maybe with a bonus of three. If they could make it short, then... <laughs> Yes, uh, Lionel, please, you can help us with the microphone. Thank you, me, Mr. President. Uh, my name is Lionel Ndetebile. Uh, I work at uh, the Pan-African Review. Um, 30 years ago, you were already the target of uh, criticism coming from beyond the borders of Rwanda. From when, 30 years ago? Uh, yeah. I'm still taking oh. this criticism. <laughs> no. Yes, uh, uh, th that was my question. Like, yeah. uh, what was it then, and what is it now that is driving that criticism? And what can the new generation of Rwanda learn from mm -hmm. the way you handled it? Well, it's hard to tell, but, but also, not, I shouldn't exaggerate. It isn't too, too difficult. Is there anybody in the world who would not be criticized? Or who is not criticized at one time or another? I don't think. Uh, and, and it depends on um, the interests or even uh, the views of those who are criticizing you, about you, the, their views, their whatever interests or if you 
But it also means you are actually somebody. If you have to be criticized, you know, somebody who is nobody won't to be criticized <laughs> because they're criticizing you, you know, criticizing you for something that in one way they associate with but would want it different. Uh, th th that is one possibility. The other is uh, what you, either you, you, your thinking or your actions or your are a danger to them. In other words, they, it's like they deprive them of something. Um, for example, if I'm, say, if we, we two of us, I'm telling you, say, you know what, let's do this, or you are telling me, let's do this, so that we are not dependent on the other one. And the other one actually wants you to be dependent on them. They will not be happy that you are trying to be independent. So they will attack you for wanting to be independent because they don't want you to be independent from them. And there are many ta tactics, there are many ways of doing that. They may not tell you directly that, because they, I mean, it looks ridiculous that they are attacking you for wanting to be independent. So they just find ways of creating a bad name for you, so that that works against you. And it's not seen that they are the ones working against you. What is working against you is is what they have created about you, the image. They make it look uh, happen like that and absorbs them uh, the responsibility of uh, of attacking you or criticizing you. So they are, it's like, you see, it's like that, you know. You know uh, at a higher level, like in our case, you know, there are, we, we touched a bit of history and said, you know, uh, what has been happening in Rwanda. Let's say, let's talk about genocide alone. It happened because the country was divided, there's, you know, the colonial times brought in the kind of politics and uh, shaped Rwanda like that and so on. And then, uh, anyway, the ult uh, ultimate genocide happened. So when you tell the story, actually the way it was, from colonialism and then up to the time of genocide. Those who are responsible for the colonial times don't like it. And when you say they are associated with the genocide or the cause of it, they are not happy with you. Now, simple thing, for example, one of the things they do, and a simple one, They want to keep attacking you like you are a violator of human rights, you know, no freedoms, no democracy, blah, 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 blah. By doing that, it's like they are saying, you see, what happened in Rwanda actually is not anything to do with the outside. Rwandans have been killing each other, you see, they even, the genocide was this. Killing this, so, and then they turn. That's the, the story of turning uh, the victim into a perpetrator. You have seen how many times they, they are out there saying, accusing uh, RDF, accusing uh, Rwanda. You know, uh, the security. I was reading something the other day saying, you know, you, you have seen uh, this consortium of. Uh, 
journalists, what they are saying, that Rwanda has spies all over the world, killing their opponents, you know, they, they, everywhere, in the whole world. They, 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 so it's like they, they, they keep saying this about Rwanda. Rwanda is just a bunch of killers, you know. They, not only that, they killed each other, now they are killing opponents. And other. You see, that when you get lost in that story, the, there is no outside blame. The outside blame disappears. Even uh, the UN that was here that uh, did nothing to stop genocide, or the whole world that watched and did nothing about genocide, ends up being absorbed. It's now Rwanda. It's Rwanda, the victims, the perpetrators, they change positions. It's the, the outside world, well, even journalists who were busy actually orchestrating genocide and supporting genociders, and they are the ones now who are spinning this story, like those ones. Yes, because of their interests, their association, the, the way they want to shape the story of Rwanda, the narrative of Rwanda, the way they want, you see? So you, you now, if you are weak, if Rwanda is weak, it's going to succumb to you know, and even be apologetic, and <laughs> or they shape it the way they want. They promote people, and you you can see when they are saying, you know, these are the people like the Ingabires, like the you know, you know somebody Ingabire, this. Uh, It's a more woman of a genocide, you know. But this, they, they want the whole world to believe that she, she's an opponent, she's a, Actually, they would wish that one to be the president of the world. And, and, and she also believes it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so she believes it, and she's everywhere giving lectures and... You know, but this is, it, it's not Rwandan, it's not, it's not a Rwandan who, th who believes this story. But the outsiders, these journalists, these uh, ones who go to, what do they call it? Forbidden stories. Uh -huh. It is forbidden to be talking about Ingabiri. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm actually sort of going to be blamed for it. You, you receive it. <laughs> so, you, you young people who are in this kind of thing, you, because influencers are, you hold opinion. You hold opinions for a, a reason. You are part of the social political fabric of this country. So if if you you don't grasp that easily, you, you I'm sure maybe you know among you or somewhere else there are people who are op 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 operating the opposite of how you are doing it. Yes, so they must be having a reason, either of their own or being used by others. So constantly we, we've got to be aware, we have got to be, but we've also got to be, have what we want for ourselves. Uh, and we should not be apologetic about it. You check any time, any day. I've never been apologetic for what RPF is doing, what Rwanda wants, what I am doing with the, these people who 
abused, uh, criticized, and even in high offices, they are somewhere outside in the world there. You know, you, you meet somebody, they say, yeah, why, in Rwanda, why you, you are doing this? You say, what? You say, what evidence do you, do you have? They said, but the uh, son so said this. They are talking about one of the influencers who, <laughs> somewhere out there <laughs> whom they are at the same time using and then they are quoting that one as evidence. I mean, so this is a word you must really try and learn to be sophisticated, at least in understanding the nuances of uh, these things and the world we live in. Mm. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Um, maybe a question from the front. Naomi. Thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, mm. I'm a Naomi, and uh, I'm one of the content creators here in Rwanda. I think I've also seen you many times. Uh, yes, uh, I'm yeah. so happy to be sitting right in front of you and next to the First Lady. Uh, my question is, uh, what to get to Zabi? go to Zabi It goes. And, <laughs> and some of us here are making a living through social media. Um, what are the steps? Thank you. Mm. Good. First of all, it is to know the story. No, 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 mukamenya ngo ibi byiza ntabwo ari uko byari bimeze imyaka 30 ishize then the question is byagenze gute kugira ngo tube dufite ibi byiza immediately also what kicks in iki 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 kiza none ho umutwawe no kuvuga ngo ariko ko dufite amateka asatya kandi twa dufite ibi byiza bimeze gutya Hari amateka mabi yazagaruka. Eh so you made uno ne gikurikiraho no kurinda ibyo byiza ufite. Eh kubirinda gute rero hari uburyo bwinshi. Eh hari kubirinda even by shaping the opinion. Facts, evidence and explanation. Hari kuba ngo ikintu nikiza I'll give you evidence, I'll give you a fact. I'll give you why I believe which Chihuni is. So, move your Mukararon in it now. You have a hand. You no 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 ntabwo ibyiza byikora ntabwo ibyiza biva mu opinion gusa ngo yirushye no mu opinion habari hari intambara nabyo ura yo buri munsi you wake up ready for a fight of some kind right yes no mvuga nabi niyo wabutavuze igihugu nabi no mvuga nabi ndakunda turahangana the covers in Mamu Vugana, the Pandu Genuva. Is Indian Hamba Zero who needs the sons? Is a Masasun or no Zirimono Kuru was him? If you know you now we hear Gemo. If you love your Haravita Viravaka, so. Nibyo rero cya mbere ko byose bihera ku mutima wawe n'ubwenge bwawe n'ukuntu tekereza na precisely nka bya muzabimbwa muzabintari n'ubwo ngo kubimbwa ni ubaho tagira opinion utagira umuntu ya gutuka uti amusore akabare akabare wa apologizing no should be done to apologize not not to Eh, so, 
kubina ari vuga ari ari ino guhangana n'ikibazo cyabo cyawe kugita cyawe cyabo cy'umuryango wawe cyabo cy'igihugu bakigira cyawe you want to nibura gutanga umusanzu mu kwikemura your excellency Profeta, the bonus question where do i um juka vuba yes murakoze anitwa kwizera Josué aba ndumunyeshuri umuri yora ariko nanone nkankoresha social media ku izina rya byuka vuba cyasora cyaryanye ah ah mu kiganiro cyabahuje n'abanyamakuru muri Yuka Vuba, I think Changwa or Acharyan. I think I've seen it. They have followed it up. Thank you, yes. Mr. President. Yes, you were there. I didn't know. Mutigani Ruchavo, Janavanya Makunga, Kushiz and Muri Makunya Nagata. I was no ku ku if I tell you, you could. Who's a correction? How very, how very yaw. Yego. I don't do more. Yego, a co president. Leave you. Yego. Oh, then I have followed. Thank you. Uh, Umunya Makrua, what TV one can see, Yavajeje, Niba, when you're going to do any quit a gura, uh, idiot called the Tevite and Amagambergo to Rukahanze, uh, Ahura of Gako, Ashaka Kuzatera, Uruguand. A Nyako Chaman in Mamus Vijem, Girako to Korea Kuriamo to Gasinzira. To conjure to gas in the run hatch was the fit. Ah, Muku Mukumusu Quebget Quaraji, Ninin Hatch was the fit or jam to gas in the air. Akuni for Zakuaza Urujuko Shaukum is a Kurjam or Kurjam Harichur Yaman. Kurji get telephone as a sonera, Utazachan and the moon, Vigi Shaukotan. Nava Murutagan is it. Morakos Yaratagan is Yaradan. Ya kuvuga gutyo ngo buryo nsinzire no kuta biha umwanya urenzo bikwiye ariko um naho bundi ko igihugu cyacu gikora ari rabakirinda ku buryo bw'umwuga w'umwe hari ko umutekano warwo birakora kandi ntabwo ari aba bantu bambaye iri amyenda gusa byanye no muri mu bakora buriya ibikorwa bishingira no mu baturage bakorana n'abaturage hose eh ku buryo noneho no mu buryo bundi ari ubwo ibiza ari ubwo cyabaye hari Manuka, Haruburio, Arubujes Gueho, Arubu Sansgue, Ariba Mutiman of Vugaga. I will go back with me, Yaku Kanya, whatever you mean. Kawazum have I Manuka, have I Chin, Mutava, and Mujeramut. Rum Vareroco, Vita Cigar in Yuma, no Murio, no Hogo Hangana, Nava Turkahan Zavasha, Kungavania. Mutekano wacu abantu no kuryama ariko kandi nyine musigaye mufite na za telefone rero eh azaho ka alarm kakubwira ngo ari uburyo bwinshi butandukanye ho abantu bagomba kubimenya noneho ari nubundi buryo bugomba Utegura abo ngabo bagomba kugira icyo bakora bashoboye hari ho bose ariko the message iri ari muryame musinzire was guhumuriza abantu but at the same time bivuze ngo niyo bwo hari mu noneho hari bavuze ibyintare niki Inare mwari mwari wana. Eh, aruko nda ura uza irebe aru uhoro sanga isani sinziri. Aruko buri njia sinziri. Eh, iyo ni ukanda jie gusikumva irabio. Aruko chini jie ibi sinziri. Kuto nuko 
kuruhuka kuryama rero mu gasinzira nibyo nubundi mukuriye guhu kugira ihumure mu karya mu gasinzira ariko muri mwe iya kantu gakomye rakanguka sibyo eh na 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 hivi bindi rero bya sakuza biriya rwose nabo kandi barabize biriya bindi no kuvuga gusa ko abashaka mu ya mu mu makuru mu gasubizanya baratukana bagashaka kubasubiza na ukandura nkabo so barabihorera ariko yo yarenze umurongo bara barabize Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for the uh, inspiring words. Uh, I believe that this place and the tour that we did was very inspirational for us. Mm -hmm. I, um, maybe we will not uh, fight uh, the same kind of uh, fights that uh, you did uh, mm -hmm. 30 years ago, but uh, we have a very important fight to do as well, sure. uh, which is uh, uh, information online and using social media for the right reasons. So Thanks. thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, and uh, good luck on the campaign today. Thank you. Actually, you are lucky. You have uh, these, the information fight uh, available for you, and but you can even join the other ones. So for you, you have two, you have... <laughs> for me, it was only one option that was just <laughs> the information one I didn't have. <laughs> But for you, you are lucky. But just know that uh, the possibilities are limitless. That's the most important thing. And uh, this is your country, it is yourselves. It's, uh, um, there, there shouldn't be anything that should deprive you what you want to have or want to be or want to. Just, it starts within, from within you. Just don't accept nonsense. Yes. yes. We will not. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your Excellency. Yeah. Huh? So, uh, what, can, have you organize, can you organize? Uh, we have pictures. And